What is going on guys? Welcome to Gump's Videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gumper and today I have a guest today as usual. I'm back again. Yeah, we are reviewing Wild Wild West. So if you guys are new to the WTF series, this is where I review really bad movies and sometimes I will have a guest, John. So Wild Wild West, if you guys are not familiar, what year did it come out? What, 99? So around 99, 2001, around that range. Either way, it, it had one of the highest budgets for its time. This movie was way more expensive than The Phantom Menace. And The Phantom Menace was supposed to be the most visually stunning for the time. Even though when you look at it now, it looks like complete tits. <laughs> How much was it? It was $170 million. So yeah. Like, 99. Yeah, yeah so, 99. Yeah, and 99. So let me let you grasp this for a minute. The budget for Avengers Infinity War was around like 250-ish. So, think about this. Something on that spectacle and that big, that grand, is only $70 million more expensive than the Wild Wild West. And what did their budget go to? Will Smith and an Iron Spider. No, not Spider-Man's Iron Spider. No, a mechanical... Giant spider. With, like... <coughs> The plot basically is there's this uh, the fallen Confederate army is, is trying to regain power and I forget the guy's name he had like a weird goatee and he's basically trying to reestablish you know slavery and shit so he captured all these top scientists and is killing them off for whatever reason yeah I but just, just to make a giant spider so he can take over Washington D.C. destroy the government. And it's all up to Will Smith and Kevin Klein to go and stop him in this wonderful Western espionage. See, what's weird? So, in the beginning of the movie, you see a scientist get his head chopped off. Out of context, you're like, oh shit, brother, that's tough. But, but, um, it's weird because he's a scientist and you need, according, you need the scientist... <laughs> To make this spider. And that's another thing. I love how they just start the movie with him dying. And then they just play happy, like... Whimsical, ha whimsical adventure whimsical music. Hollywood music from the title sequence. The movie is just so over the top. And oh. it's fu it's fine to be over the top. It's, it's normal. It's fine. Especially in the 90s. But very rarely have I <laughs> ever seen a movie so over the top... It, it just doesn't work. See, like, it's the world that they're in. It, ju it just doesn't work. See, something like the, the mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> the, the mask can be over the top because it's very cartoony. Th if this was an animated movie, it would make more sense because, like, <clears throat> there, there's so many cartoony effects. I thought, for many times, I thought I was watching a Looney Tunes movie. You know, and that's the thing. See, if there was a cohesive theme in this movie, then all these over-the-top elements, you could have definitely suspended your disbelief. But... Because, like, of how conflicted the tone of the movie is, you just don't know what they're trying to go for, like, 90% of the time. Although, ironically, it is funny for the wrong reasons. <laughs> the, I want to talk about the villain really quick. It's just because, like, I, 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 the villain is bad. Best villain entrance ever. I'm going to play it really quick for you guys. <laughs> Hello there. Okay, now if you haven't laughed, there's something physically and mentally wrong with you. I mean, Abraham Lincoln's head comes out, right? Blows up, and then <laughs> he pops out of the <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. They have like blood, they have like these blood strings that come out that make it look like blood or some shit. Uh, dude, it was so stupid. <laughs> Oh my god! Like if that wasn't if that wasn't a clear message that they hate the North. <laughs> oh god! Oh my goodness! What have we gone into? <laughs> so stupid! Oh my god! Oh my so god! Like... Oh my god! That was easily my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> Oh I, know. oh, I know my. Oh, I know my favorite. <laughs> oh, I know your favorite too. He pops out of the thing. He's like, "Hello, that." This guy has the weirdest obsession with spiders. He never talks about it, 
But yeah, that's there true. Are spi- there are spiders. This is so true. I never realized that this dude's got a fetish for spiders. And, like it's all over. It's all over his mansion. He makes a giant spider. His clothing, <laughs> from the clothing to the goatee to the women that he has to the to the, his new Confederate flag. <laughs> yes, the Confederate flag with a spider logo on it. <laughs> Now, if only it had Spider-Man's logo on it. And speaking of which... Dude, dude I, the entire movie, I was like, dude, I bet you this dude has a spandex Spider-Man suit, and he's like, hello, ladies. And he's <laughs> got no legs, so I wonder, like, if he's half of a Spider-Man, then... Wait, maybe that's why he's got a, a spider fetish, because he's got no legs. Maybe. Dude, maybe, maybe. this movie's a lot deeper than we thought. <laughs> maybe it is. He's so jealous, he's like... This fucker's got eight legs. Speaking I know how many have two. fucking spiders there are. I wish the guy, Mr. Giant Purple Guy, would have snapped his finger and got rid of all them freaking spiders along with spider Man. Oh, wait, that already kind of happened. Right. But that's okay. That's okay. Because, um, there are plenty of rocks in the air. I don't feel so good. Just walk that off what you just said to me yes i am i've been actually saving that up just for you no man i i this is why you got i don't want you in the house this is why i don't like him in the house this is why i don't like him there. because like i mean dude you you're, you're just such a disease i mean you're just like a parasite that no one likes i mean like <laughs> dude fuck you <laughs> but actually though uh considering that you know, you know mr giant purple man can get away with it because our suspension of disbelief works in that movie yeah, Not it, this one. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing is, there's a coherent plot with characters that you truly understand that are complex enough. And, like, they've been building up to this absurdity. And this movie it just kind of just throws you in it. It's like, it's cartoony, but it doesn't try to treat itself like it's a cartoon. It's trying to treat itself like a real movie. A Hollywood Wild West movie, even though most of the movie movies. takes place in the East Coast. I mean, I mean, there's there's some desert in there, here and there, but like, I you, mean... You never like, feel like you're in the West. You, it just doesn't feel like a genuine Western movie, because it's like, it, like, yet again, it's all about cartoony effects. I mean, you got fake rope in... Let's talk about that scene, actually, really quick. The fake rope, like the... Yeah, you, you, this is your scene. You, you go ahead, please. I'm him! <gasps> oh! oh. Hang him! One of their leads involves Spider Mansion. I'm just gonna call it Spider Mansion because it's nothing but spiders. And it's funny because there's Spider Canyon. <sighs> yeah, there's a Spider Canyon in the freaking movie. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> But nonetheless, oh yeah, and there's a spider train, spider um, <laughs> right. wheelchair. But let's, let, I'll get back to the business. So, um, so Kevin Klein plays a character who play, goes, uh, Gore, he plays as Gordon. He, uh, he dresses in different disguises so he can infiltrate, you know, all these facilities and stuff, right? Uh, one of the disguises in the beginning of the movie, he was dressed up as a, like a hooker or something, <laughs> all right? So... <laughs> Will Smith's character believes that, oh, he must be the hooker again when he's just this Canadian, this French Canadian. So what happens is Will Smith is trying to, you know, uh, give off information to who he thinks is Kevin Klein's character, Gordon. And he taps on her boobies He's like after making comments and then the woman just slaps him in the face. And out of nowhere, Gordon says, Hang him! Oh, because it was a distraction plan even though there was never any context to it it just just drops in on you and you're yeah just like... that's that, <laughs> that, that yeah i want to talk about this really quick there's a lot of conveniencies in this movie oh my god especially with kevin klein's character with his technology and shit like that he said it was part of the plan it was always <laughs> part of the plan you can't plan that you can't plan your partner smacking on some random bitch's boobs you can't plan for that batman doesn't even plan for that this dude's got more intelligent than batman he's like i have a plan a b c d I, he's got the entire fucking alphabet and all the numbers for pi get like, rid of iron man he he seems to be the brains in this operation 
honestly, and yet, like, like with the technology on the train, there's a, like a little spring that shoots him into the train. I'm like, so wait, if there was a robber, right, trying to get into the train, but it's fortified as shit, he steps on that little panel, he's gonna break in, and you're like, oh shit, I didn't think that was gonna work. And the cons- in- inconsistencies oh, with the the, the, the the technology, like, one time Will Smith gets trapped on a pool table, gets pulled under, and now he's strapped there. They use it again later in the film, but instead of being strapped down and trapped, he uses it as a freaking bed, and then it, it's so inconsistent. It's just using it for the plot. It's just yeah, there's no inconsistent. It's so inconsistent. That's what doesn't work. It's, it's, it's just lazy writing. Yeah, but <laughs> r- practically, just like there's nothing about it that really adds anything to the story because you're you're being thrown all these conveniences. It's the only way they can move along this plot because they. I have no idea how to really create drama. At the very least, you know, even create tension. Kevin Klein comes to the picture. He's like, I got this. I can make a flying hornet. <laughs> I'm like, what? And it's a bicycle. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking bicycle. <clears throat> I'm surprised with... there are no bees on there. Honestly, dude. Uh, <clears throat> th- th- like, this movie's writing is just lazy. The dialogue, thank God, isn't awful. So I can't say the writing was awful. It's just the, the plot structure and how they handled it was very, very lazy. It seems like they skipped step two. So if uh, writing was a three-step process, write your first draft, fix the story, then the dialogue. That's what you got to do as a writer. I feel like they skipped step two. Big time. Th- yeah, big time. And they just claimed the dialogue. Will Smith and Kevin Klein have a good banter. They actually do have a legitimate good banter in this movie. I think that kind of like saves it a little bit. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> Saving what? Yeah. Ever. And of course, there's the spider guy, so... Yeah, um, there's... Like, the visuals for the time are pretty good, uh, for the most part. Um, there's still some, obviously, shaky stuff. But that that's, iron spider. Dude, that... That iron spider. It's so impractical. I can't, I can't really say that with this movie, but I this is the uh, second time I watched this movie. We were discussing it on my first viewing. It was me, him, and another buddy of ours, James. James kept, like, clinging to this idea, like, that's not possible, that's not possible, like... Well, why? You know, even though I knew it wasn't impossible, he's like he would have ran f- ran out of fuel because where the fuck were they? They were like what? They were deep west, and they- their idea their idea was to take that stupid spider, go east, and get to Washington D.C. to get. The thing good. is moving about twenty miles an hour at, at the very best. least. At, at best. best. <laughs> so but- imagine right now you getting into your car, going 70, 80 miles an hour. From, like, California to D.C. or just the East Coast in general. That's taken a couple days of a non-stop trip. If, like, that's easily, like, four days non-stop. That's going 70, 80 miles an hour, non-stop, no gas, no sleep, no nothing. This spider is, like he said, going 20 miles an hour. That's going to at least take weeks. That's going to take there. weeks. And yet, that thing should be running out of fuel. But wait, Kyle. It's steam-powered. Everything in this movie is steam-powered. Like, I, I'm like, shit, let's talk to this guy. Fuck. I mean, you, like, these the scientists are so intelligent in engineering, even though they got a science degree, not in engineering. Hate to tell you guys, science and engineering are kind of different. I just I saying. think they should have invested in making more railroad stuff. I mean, I mean that was the more practical sense of traveling for the time. So yeah, and yeah, even sense. on train that would have taken weeks. Yeah, at the very least, but it, maybe a week, just a week flat. Because I mean, I think it like yeah, I think it at least takes like one or two weeks at least. I think that spider definitely would have never gotten there before a train. That spider was amazing though. Fuck he, he was just it was destroying the city, and that was cool and all until he legitimately shoots one fireball at an individual's carriage and at a horse it blows him <laughs> the fucking smithereens and you see the horses get launched. I'm like Jesus <laughs> Christ! It's the only traditional Western scene. It's sad, but it's true. There's no, <laughs> there's no like see you at high noon. There's no, it's it's whatever. There's no. There is no gunslinging, there is no um, duel, you know, there isn't any of that. I'm going to give this 1.5 out of 5 stars. Normally, 
I'm just usually harsh on these movies and say zero or one out of five. I'm gonna give this one the point five, so it's almost a decent movie just because of just how funny it is. Two out of five for me, actually, <laughs> just because it's 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 just it's it's bad, but it's, it gives you enough laughs. It's as bad and as good as Cat in the Hat. The, listen, let's calm down. I, I I'm gonna say that. <laughs> okay, whatever, whatever. All film is subjective, even though Cat in the Hat's clearly better. <laughs> 